as an artist or anything else, I've always really had a problem with people saying, you're so gifted, you're so talented, I wish I could do that, I just wasn't born this way. Well, neither was I. I've never had any talent or natural talent at anything I've done. I've just been persistent. When I am interested in something, I pursue it. And I don't just give up when I have hit the first failure. Uh, that's just all part of the process. And last year, I found out I have a Fantasia, which means I can't form visual images in my mind. Matter of fact, this whole time people said, visualize this, I thought that was an expression to talk about, like, recalling something. Uh, I didn't realize that people were literally forming images in their mind. So, it got me thinking, this whole time people have been saying, you're gifted, you're so talented, I wasn't born this way, I wish I could drop, blah, blah, blah. And the whole time, y'all been the ones, 98% of y'all, can see images in your head. Y'all are gifted. And... So this past year, once I found this out, I really tried and tried and tried and worked on all these different visualization techniques and just got nowhere. And I've been doing meditations uh, since about 2004, and they're all visual visualization oriented. And uh, I've just never been able to, no matter how much practice, I've never been able to do that. Uh, so for instance, like if someone was to say visualize shooting this free throw like I see no basketball I see no goal and no matter how hard I try I won't see any of those things but what I what I sense in my inner space is like I can feel the basketball I can feel the weight of it the density I can feel the texture of it uh, I can feel the vibrations dribbling the ball I can I can not hear it but it's like the way you would see with sound. And I'm not literally seeing anything, but I can interpret the whole space. I can feel that basketball, they like dribbling. I can feel the space around me from the noise. And I can, I can feel and hear it going through the net, but I cannot see anything. Uh, so, and no matter how hard I have worked on this, I, I have just gotten no progress. And... That's not to say that I don't see in my dreams. I do see in my dreams. Uh, and I, I've been working on astral projection for about a decade now. And my mind will go places. And there I can see things. I can see in those worlds or whatever that is that I'm going to. But if you were like, imagine this blue ball. Like, there's just going to be blank space there forever. Um, and I've always wondered... Uh, People, when I describe my drawing process, people kind of look at me funny like it doesn't make any sense uh, because I kind of take on the space of something. Like, uh, and I'm really envious of other artists, and maybe this is why everyone draws so much faster than I do, but if y'all can visualize an image in your head, like that's got to be super easy to transfer onto paper or canvas, I would think. Uh, and then that's why I've always been geared more towards knowing what something doesn't look like than what it does look like. Like, I make a lot of corrections. I draw through a lot of trial and error. I make a mark on the paper, and I can see, well, that's not what it's supposed to look like far more than I know what it looks like. Um, and when I've described uh, the way that I try to analyze something, like, I essentially take on its space. Uh, so you've got what's called proprioception and interoception. Uh, interoception is like the way you feel your inner space within yourself and like how you feel like your knee in relation to your shoulder or, or that. And uh, proprioception is how you feel the world around you, how you feel the relation of your body and sense to the room. Uh, so when I draw, I kind of take this feeling of self and put it into the object I'm trying to draw. So if I'm trying to draw this table, like... In a sense, I like mentally pour the substance of my body, the sensation of my body, into that container. And I take on the space of that table. And from there, I kind of feel it out and start making marks on the paper. And it's kind of like you can know when something's out of place almost instantly. Uh, it's like if you were to walk in look in the mirror and see somebody else other than yourself in the mirror like you would know hey this isn't me and this is kind of the same way that i draw is 
by uh, trial and error and knowing what something is not more than what it is. I always wonder about the process of other artists and like, in a way I'm very envious of that, but I wonder how that affects me in other ways. Uh, I know it's very limiting for me trying to draw and this whole time I thought I was a visual learner, but I am far more of a tactile learner. Uh, so if you're a visual artist and you can visualize things, like if I say, imagine a blue ball and you can close your eyes and imagine a blue ball, please tell me how you draw. I want to know. I want to know what the other side is like. 